It's Christmas, Van Buren Tech up here in Michigan. Oh, oh man. Right now, you guys are using high speed steel, yep. but we're getting you into Kenna Metal Carbide. Open it up. Kenna Metal Tools right here. Awesome sponsorship for an amazing program. So we're at Van Buren Tech, an amazing school that teaches manufacturing, teaches a lot of different industries. They do it big. Let's go. Man, look at all those awesome shirts. Yeah, yeah. Big shout out to Canna Metal. Thank you so much for uh, sponsoring this school right here, Van Buren Tech. Canna Metal, thank you so much. This school is awesome, amazing. You got all the machines, you got the bridge ports, you got the CNC's. They're learning, you know, machining and, and using tools and stuff, but Right now, you guys are using high-speed steel, yep. but we're getting you into Kenna Metal Carbide, and we're gonna up the level, blast through some material. Mm -hmm. Boom, it's gonna be Ooh. great. Oh man, he, he's, he's like talking about cutting with these. We just did the unboxing, but what happened was he got it yesterday or the day before. Right. He opened the boxes before I even got Sorry. here, started running the tools already, and I'm like, I thought we were doing an unboxing when I get there, but these guys couldn't wait. So they're already <laughs> saving time and money and all that. Yes. Boom. With Titan 9M, the fastest that we've ever ran that part was probably 45 minutes. We were able to get that down to 34 minutes. That's with awesome. Jackson's file. He drew it, he programmed it, he set it up. Uh, we worked with the speeds and speeds that Titan had mentioned, and we got it down to four, 34 minutes. So it's really that's awesome. That's awesome. And that's full 3D tool facts. Yes. The part looks beautiful. Yes, it does. Awesome, man. Using Mastercam with Kenamental Tooling. Boom. Oh, look at these guys. They're like ready to go. <laughs> Mitchatoyo. Big shout out to Mitchell Toyo. It's Christmas, Van Buren Tech up here in Michigan. Thank you guys so much. That's literally my favorite calipers right there. Oh, got the high cage. Look at that. It's a big old high cage. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much, Minnetoya. Awesome. Thank you, Gabe, for all that you do, helping and teaching all these students to be CNC machinists. Boom, we need more of that right there. Thank what do you guys think? What do you guys think about Gabe? He's amazing. 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 Literally the best. <laughs> My name is Gabe Couyers. I'm at Van Buren Tech in Lawrence, Michigan. It is a career technical education program. We have 26 different programs here. Everything ranging from fire science to law enforcement to automotive, um, machining, plastics, CAD, construction trades. Everybody's here. That's <laughs> here's the cam. Love it. Oh, what a vice. A shout out to Shunk for this vice right here and uh, everything else that they gave. And I'll just say one thing. I've used a lot of different vices. The reason on the high level that we actually use Shunk is it's the only vice where parts have never moved. My parts, no matter how aggressive I've gotten, the parts, the material has never moved in that vise. All other vices, it's moved. And that's why we are loyal to Shunk. These guys are amazing. I've been teaching since 2003, 2004 was my first school year. In 2016, Titan came out with the Titans of CNC building blocks and it just revolutionized my class. The 2017 year, we went ahead and started into it right from the start at Titan 1 and going to Titan 10, and it has been amazing. It's standardized parts that students are able to catch on to. It is, it is industry relevant parts, and it has been great for my program. Now the students are on CNC Expert. They're getting certified in CAD, CAM, and the CNC part. Students are able to have their online portfolio, network with industry, uh, meet new people, and it's been awesome. Oh, he's got the briefcase. I love it. I love it. These guys, they actually learn, they learn manual machining. As you can see, they got all the bridge ports and all that and stuff. But a lot of people back in the day, not so much now because there's thousands of uh, young men and women that are making all the Titan parts, but people used to say, Titan, you can't teach them how to program. That's not realistic for the industry. 
and yet this young man is 17 years old. He actually has a job outside of this school with his own machine, and you're programming it. You got your computer doing all of it. Yep. Programming and machining, designing all of it. Great job, man. <laughs> Boom. So here's Cooper. He's got some of his What's parts. Up, Cooper? He's got some of his parts that he's cut. He's got his CNC expert profile up. Yep. We're using Mastercam. He's learned to draw, program, CNC, set it up, inspect. At my advisory committee um, meeting, I've had four flutes machining, Trimation, Molson, all FlowServe, all these different companies that are seeing what the Titans of CNC is about and CNC expert. They think it is amazing. They've given me full support and to continue using it. They're seeing what the students are doing and they're very impressed. This is my folder I set up for this. I have all my stuff like my ex uh, inspection and blueprints in here. And I love that. Like, so there's a CNC expert inspection forum. You inspected everything per the dimensions. That's one of the cool things. You see all the kids, all these young men, the students, and they're making all their parts. But behind the scenes, what you don't see is there's a full inspection report. Uh, the student has to check every single dimension off of the bubbled prints that we provide. Gabe came and actually we certified him to be an inspector uh, on CNC Expert. So on the second column, he'll actually write down all of his dimensions because he'll re-inspect the part. And so long everything jives, they both sign it off. They upload it into CNC Expert and that's when we release the actual certification and put it online. They can actually print it out. They can take it to job interviews and they can just post from CNC Expert on all social media platforms, send it through text, send it through email. It's nice and easy. What I've really found is uh, the students get right into CNC. They get excited about CNC. It hooks them, it grabs them. But then after they finish Titan 2M, we go back to the manual mill and then they realize that they can't cut dynamic by hand. So then they have to learn different strategies and tactics to do that. And you can see that by Ben's parts here. Every student that wants a job in my program, we can find them a job. The employers are just screaming for students. They need students. Their workforce is retiring, and that's what we're trying to do is to find the next people in manufacturing, the next students. Here's our CAD engineering program. So we are using SolidWorks in here. We've got some students doing Revit as well for architecture, but most of them are doing SolidWorks. Uh, we use the Titans building blocks as kind of a basis. Uh, most of the students have all their certifications. We've got a few that are still lacking, but we're, we've got them submitted. Uh, we've got the rocket parts. We've got some of the advanced parts. You can see we've got uh, the chest set. We've got a student that made a poster to advertise the chest set. Awesome. Uh, we 3D printed the entire thing. We've got um, some different parts here. We've got certificates for students. We've got some of the more advanced aerospace parts. So we do a number of things like that. We've even got, we had somebody 3D print the ball in a cube. Oh, that's so cool. A lot of people look at our academy and look at the parts, but they're like, oh, I don't have CNC machines and stuff. And yet you guys have proven that you can actually still design the parts. You can grab solid works. There's a deal for like $69. If you go to resources on our academy, everyone can get a full blown seat of solid works for like 69, 79, something like that. And uh, you can actually do everything at your own houses in your schools. And if you don't have CNCs, you can step up to a 3D printer and make all the parts. And uh, it works great. Good. I was out for a few weeks last year with COVID. They did these parts while I was out. That's and awesome. the tutorials were great. They, they helped with that. This year, I gave them the drawings and told them to work on the parts and then told them their videos. Yeah, and, and what I see is I see they'll they'll watch the tutorials for the Titan 1, 2, and 3. By the 4, like the first couple tools, they're already doing. Yep. They're just looking for what's new. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and they're getting it done. So, great yeah. job. Boom. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Boom! I love that. You saw that. Oh, man. What's up, Barry? So here's some of the heroes of our trade right here. Actual teachers that are teaching our students, our young people, the next generation, uh, CNC machining, manual machining, all of it, just teaching the trade. So great job, guys. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, the local master cam representative, I love, Gabe was giving you like a huge amount of props and just saying you're here for the program and all that. So thank you for what We're you here. do. We're here. We're local. Awesome, man. Boom, Master Cam in the house. These are guys are all instructors that sat on the Career Pathways grant this last year. So different 
instructors for different schools. Yes, we are all from different schools, but we sat on this uh, committee this last year looking at different curriculums, looking at different credentials uh, that the state of Michigan and what industry looks at and what industry is wanting in a student. And then we've come up with different choices and credentials and Titans of CNC is going to be one of the choices for instructors to use to get their students certified. A lot of people out there are talking about needing to get our kids educated to get them trained in CNC machining and we need to bring shop back to schools. Well, guess what? In Michigan, it's happening. This year alone, these four guys are responsible for about 500 students that are gonna be the workforce of tomorrow. So all of these people that talk about skills gap and stuff, these are the men who are actually changing it. So if you're a big company out there, there's no reason that teachers like this or shops like this should have to struggle for tools, fixturing, any of that stuff. People should be doing exactly what Kenna Metal and Shunk and Mitutoyo did today and help these guys do their job and create our workforce that we're going to depend on for years to come. Do you guys want to educate our kids? We need help in our schools. We need grants. And, uh, and hey, if you got a school next to you, if you're a machine shop and you have a school down the street, whoever your local school, make sure that that teacher has your personal cell phone number and that you're giving to that school. Not, not the garbage stuff, but you're giving the best of the best and helping that school out because those young, young men and women deserve it. And uh, that's how we actually lift up this trade, lift up our schools, our counties, our states, and our country is by teaching manufacturing and showing that manufacturing is king and it needs to be respected as such. Boom.